Today's video I don't think is going to be something that everyone's going to be interested in, but if you happen to have a uh, Holden Adventurer, this is the, the plug in the back for your cigarette lighter. Now, most people run fridges and things, but a standard connection only goes to there, fridges and that are longer. So when you plug this in, it doesn't stay, it just pops out. So the plan for today is to go through and take this side off and see what's under it and see about getting a, uh, a bigger plug. I may have to sacrifice the, uh, the holder on the side, but we'll see how that goes. Why don't I just step outside and quickly show you the difference. That's a standard plug. You can see if I can get these close. The difference in size, it sits about there. So fridge, freezers, um, stuff like that, generally a little bit longer. Now this red piece on the end, of course, you can rotate that and you can pop that off if you want. It doesn't have to be on there. But as a general thing, it is longer by, what is it, about 15, 20 mil. So I need a much deeper socket. Otherwise, it just doesn't go far enough to hook those which is hopefully what we're about to do. Uh, let's go take this, uh, this side panel off and how hard can it be? First thing we need to do is unscrew this. Pop that off. All right, so that's what, 15 centimeters by about seven. So I need a plate that's going to be 15 by seven minimum. Uh, let's go have a quick look on eBay and see what we can get. Just did a quick search on eBay and all I've done is type like 12 volt panel. And there's a few available. Looking at these, there's some that have, you know, pretty much the same things as what I would like, but I don't like these switches. And I think I prefer the switches at the bottom. And I found these ones with the switches at the bottom, but I'm not 100% sure I like the texture and stuff on that one. I think that's the same as the first one, but yeah. This one looks nice. And you can put stickers over each one, depending on, you know, if you want to put you know, music, wipers, all this sort of stuff on it. I'm not going to need any of that, but I liked this panel. Um, then I found this one. And I think this is the one I'm going to go with. It's good switches, decent sizes, easy to use. The fridge con connector will be out of the way. Um, I, I think that's going to be the way to go with it. So let's order that and get that on the way. So this is rocked up. Mm. That's pretty. Okay. So hopefully this will go not just over the hole, but be a little bit bigger and look nice and neat. Let's hold this underneath and give it an idea. That's a pretty good width, just a little bit of extra coverage, which is nice, but the uh, the height is definitely a little bit bigger. So I'll have to get the angle grinder out and actually cut the back off, which means measuring this a little better. This is gonna be rather rough, but it will do the trick, just so I don't have to pull everything out of the actual controller. If this goes to about where my finger is, I'm going to move this down. I'm going to have to basically cut that little piece out, and then I'm going to have to, I think, angle grind that. I think that's plastic, I'm not sure. All right, I'll, uh, I'll cut this and see how we go. Really not going as planned. <laughs> well, let me look for my renovator. No luck. So let's have a very gentle go with this.
feisty and definitely melting. It's not fun across my knuckles. It's nice and square with the Stanley knife, but it's proving to be just that tiny bit more difficult than I expected. Here we go. So that's one corner. <laughs> there goes the camera. a little tiny bit wider because I allowed for the wires I didn't allow for the actual switch and all going well that should be pretty good now so and I went and soldered on the plug and all going well oh look at that Turns out the top wires for these three gauges are separate. So now I have USB and I have 12 volt. Everything seems to be working there. All these switches all work. Now I've just realized that this car, of course, leaves power to this permanently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook one switch to actually shut this panel off. Um, these all come on when it goes up which I didn't realize. I'd actually prefer it, I think, when they're on when they're down, but this one now controls the top panel. So we're not using the panel and wasting power and stuff if I'm not actually needing the panel. So we just turn that off, everything's off, problem solved. Turn it on, I can plug in my fridge, whatever I need to plug in, it doesn't have any issues. It actually holds the right size plug now. It's the same one I tried to plug in before I changed it. So for now, I have changed and fixed the actual problem that was annoying me. I just need to screw it on and actually solder the wires and make sure that it's a permanent fixture. Here it is, nice and fished and done. Pretty wrapped, it's nice and neat and tidy. And all going well. Now I've got the bigger gauge wires and things like that. I can just flick it on. If I want to run my fridge, my fridge is no issue. I can just plug it in there. Run my fridge, my ski, whatever I want to run in the back. USBs, if I want to leave my phone on, things like that. And these I'm going to use for some external lighting, maybe some decent lighting in the back here as well for when I'm camping wasn't an overly hard thing to do. It did come up nice and neat. As you can see, I did butcher the panel and stuff though, but it, it's simple. Um, don't know what else I'm gonna do to this car, but that was something that's annoyed me for a while. So thanks for watching.